Welcome to Naples. This is the most ornate, <laughs> stunning mall I've ever seen. Guys, it was totally worth it. The views are absolutely mesmerizing. Buongiorno, everybody. Today, we are gonna do some exploring of Naples. Been a little bit prolonged or a little bit delayed getting to some of the more hustling, bustling areas such as the Cortieri Spagnoli, the Seafront Promenade, castles, Via Toledo, many great sites that we're gonna try and walk to and explore today. Although we've had some really good pizza, gelato, seen some really hustling, bustling side streets and lots of other sites in Napoli thus far. Let's take you on a little journey to explore the beautiful streets of Napoli. It's finally a sunny morning here in Napoli. So far it's been a little cloudy, so the views have been a little obstructed, but it makes us really positive, want to get out and see things. So far lots of pretty buildings, and we're gonna to continue to see more, including some of the hillier areas, hopefully some sights of the bay. No, it looks like we stumbled upon a beautiful little fountain in the middle of this plaza. Maybe it's Poseidon with the uh, trident, the three prongs. Really cool, either way. Loving the ancient sort of Roman, European architectural touches here in Naples. And then we can see Castle del Nuovo. These are the mountains and the bay in the background. And a nice crane. More gorgeous sights, guys. Castle Nuovo, beautiful Palazzo Reale, Reale. Noisy streets, lots of cars. Construction, but lively in love. And we have finally stumbled upon one of the main sites I wanted to check out today, the Galleria, Galleria del Umberto. Gorgeous building outside, inside, massive ceiling. We're gonna walk inside and check it out and see what we can find. Guys, I don't know if this is like a mall or what. Either way, this is the most ornate, stunning mall I've ever seen. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Buildings are insane, the ceiling, so marvelous. What is this? Little baby. All right, Wanderers, we have made it. We are at the main plaza, also known as Piazza de... Uh, <laughs> All right, so I actually looked up the name. We're at Piazza de Plebiscito. Massive plaza, very grand architectural columns surrounded by orange buildings, views of the bay and mountains in the background. More grandiose. European style architecture as you would expect in the main square of a major European city. Loving it so far guys. Really getting a good taste of Europe for our first timers. Never been to Europe, never been to Italy. Magnificent. And of course guys, what the people of Napoli believe to be their savior and their protector. Mount Vesuvio. We'll try hiking that. Maybe tomorrow if the weather pans out. That'd be ideal. So massive. So impressionable. I've never seen anything like it. So I can't wait to see the crater and where we are now from the top. Right there somewhere. And right behind me on that hill is Castel San Delmo. It's another castle you can check out in Naples with one of the best panoramic sweeping views of the Bay of Naples, Vesuvio, Napoli itself, and everything. So we'll definitely be climbing that someday too while we're here. Can't wait to love castles, love great views, and love nature. So it should be everything wrapped up in one.
After sightseeing all morning, we worked up an appetite, so it's time to get some authentic Neapolitan food. So we are here getting some food at a well-anticipated restaurant called Cavoli Nostri. We're here, we're gonna get some authentic Italian food such as risotto and lasagna. And there's these gorgeous little trees that are bearing oranges right behind us, which is so crazy. We're really excited to try some food. So we ordered two dishes, a creamy, tasty risotto and a delicious, flavorful lasagna. Both were good, but the lasagna was by far our favorite. It was so tasty and rich and flavorful. It had a vegan ricotta, definitely one of the favorite things that we ate in our whole month in Italy. Very delicious. And of course, we had to top things off with a classic Italian dessert. Tiramisu numero due. Let's get into it. Why are you eating it like that? That was disgusting. Mm. It's really good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the crap. Bite number two of Tiramisu number two at uh, Kovoli Nostri. So far, it's a dream. It's actually my spoon. It's phenomenal. We continued walking along Napoli's Lungomare and we stumbled upon the third castle of the day. So we went to go check out the beautiful Castel del Olivo. Turns out you have to make a reservation online, although it is free. We did not do that, we tried doing it right now. They were all booked for the day, so we'll come back another day. Which, hey, it'll be such a struggle to want to come back to such an ugly area with no beautiful... I'm kidding. It's beautiful. We'll come back here, eat at the restaurant again, and do it all again. A few times, maybe. So because that castle was closed, we decided to improvise and check out this other little plaza and park. And it's a little bit up, so we're walking up this winding little road with some beautiful views of the other part of Naples. A little house on the uh, cliffside or the rising hills. And also we can see views of the mountains and Nap or, uh, Mount Vesuvio in the background. And the fun thing about travel and adventure is always improvise and go off the beaten path a little bit. So let's we'll see what we're gonna have in store. Guys, it was totally worth it. The views are absolutely mesmerizing behind a fence. <laughs> so it's still really pretty, but not completely unobstructed. After admiring a beautiful fence and a volcano, we circled back down around to Piazza del Plebiscito, checking out the magnificent architecture before heading to Napoli's busiest pedestrian shopping street. Yet another little hidden street that we're falling in love with. We are on the busy Via Toledo. Gonna check it out, see what it's all about. Although it's a bit touristy, Via Toledo is a great place to walk around, whether you want to do some shopping, some people watching, look at Attack on Titan mural, or just get some street food and walk around enjoying the beautiful place that is Naples. It was now time to venture into the rough around the edges, yet charming Cortieri Spagnoli. I grabbed an Aperol Spritz for only one euro. I thought it was all right, but Vanessa, not so much. She was, however, more of a fan of Il Corrento Vegano, or a vegan croissant, back in Via Toledo. Hi everybody, so we are up in a little, or in a little cafe, or bar as they call it in Italian. And I've been telling Vanessa, one of my goals here is to find a place to get coffee and get a nice cornetto or croissant, or croissant. <laughs> and we found one, it's Cornetto Vegano, which is a perfect thing to enjoy with a nice coffee. You're not supposed to drink milky coffee past uh, 11 a.m., but hey, I wanted something a little lighter with this. You're supposed to normally drink a, a espresso, but I'm really excited to enjoy this, guys. My mission is accomplished only on like day three. Naples is pretty enough during the day, but at night it looks great in a lot of areas, especially when they're keeping the Christmas spirits going. The lights are up on the Christmas tree and the building is beautifully illuminated at night. People are honking at me because they recognize me from the videos, I think. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the next video. Peace.